Hi everyone, um, I'm Kay Kelly. I am the Director of Year 7 to 9 Quadrant and oversee the wellbeing and the pastoral care and academic engagement of around 450 Year 7s, 8s and 9s. The house period, um, as the name suggests, is conducted in houses and there's five houses across Year 7 to 12 that the students are placed into. Um, kind of like a Harry Potter sorting hat when they first come to St Michael's. The house period itself we're really proud of and it, and it really is a staple of, of the timetable. So it does allow 45 minutes, as Ben said, four times a week uh, for the students to come together in their year level within their house. And uh, when you think about what that time is used for, um, it's probably four key things. So it's, it's used for connection and that, that can just be, um, you know, the students sitting down with each other, talking about, um, some experiences across the week, um, having time to talk to their two tutors. Uh, extension is another another um, frame within the house period as well. So sometimes there's uh, guest speakers or, or workshops that we use that period for um, to not interrupt other other subjects or classes. Um, reflection as well. I think we we use it as um, I guess a time for when we find a need to tailor a program for that. For example, uh, the year sevens we're running a bit of a a social media um, session with with all five groups, looking at their responsibilities to themselves, but also to others um, when they're when they're on social media platforms. And then I think academic support is the other area that we we use the house period for. So once a week we've we've rolled out this year that across year seven to eleven they'll each have a study period. We can use that uh, to learn, I guess, study skills, but also to help the students with their time management um, in terms of working through um, out of class work that does seem to be a bit of a bit of a, a pressure point when they're first um, coming into high school. Fundamentally, uh, when you're a, a school that we would we would say we hang our hat on our well-being, um, that we are best practice in that area. And best practice means that every employee at the school is responsible for the well-being of our students. That's whether you're in maintenance or teaching maths or, or a tutor. Um, having said that, though, we do have a, a really positive system put in place to ensure that students feel a really strong sense of belonging and don't feel at any time that they're not known or that they are slipping through the cracks. So each student has two tutors uh, within that house group that we were referring to before, who's always the first port of call. And again, they get to know the students really well because of that um, really strong connection across the, the house period four times a week. Uh, above that is a, is a head of house who not only spends time weekly with the tutors being briefed on the students, also spends time going between each house period and getting to know the students on a deeper level as well. And then above the head of house is me. So we have this really clear triage system. Um, that ensures, one, that there's a, a good entry-level point for what we might call, you know, small um, wellbeing issues or, or, or minor concerns, but then also really strong mechanisms put in place for students who uh, might find themselves in, in, a, in a bit more of a, a stressful situation later on. Mm -hmm.